I think it's pretty obvious at this point that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is showing no sign of a resolution in sight. No matter how well Deadpool and Wolverine does, let's just say for example it does like numbers like Avengers Endgame, if not better than that, I still don't believe it's going to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of what's going on for the 2025 lineup and all the drama surrounded with those films of course and all the revisions being applied to movies like Captain America 4, Blade, Fantastic Four, just to name a few there, and what's also about to happen in 2026. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Deadpool and Wolverine is that we know that this is the singular film that is turning out of course to be quite a success already because we have director Sean Levy, Ryan Reynolds, Rhett Reese, and Paul Wernick all grouping together, even Hugh Jackman by their side, calling the shots, really standing their ground, giving Disney all these ultimatums at hand to really cave into their demands to make a masterpiece of a film. That's basically what they want to happen with this movie. And if you guys have been following Sean Levy, he did say that this is a movie for entertainment purposes. You know, there's no reason to watch a past Marvel film or you don't have to know anything about the Marvel Cinematic Universe to get this movie. This is all for entertainment purely. So, moving on from all of this, what's interesting about this has a lot to do with the drama between TV show host Joy Behar of The View and Hugh Jackman and everything in between and what's been going on behind closed doors revolving the promotion of Deadpool and Wolverine, the marketing campaign if you will, which by the way has been doing very well without the use of any of these TV shows for example. Now on top of that, with Bob Iger heading into full desperation mode and damage control for all divisions at the Walt Disney Company, one major development now has much to do with actor Hugh Jackman. After the debut of the latest Deadpool and Wolverine trailer and all the drama happening with the film behind the scenes. Now, it's described that recently TV show host of The View, Joy Behar, was recently negotiating with Hugh Jackman, his agent and manager, his entire team at that, to do an exclusive series of interviews for the month of June and that Behar was reportedly begging Jackman to come on The View to do these interviews as she was even willing to drop the conversation about the importance of DEI and to focus purely on his film altogether. Now for those of you that have been unaware, the thing that caused this drama in the first place is that she wanted to discuss the importance of DEI on the interviews between herself, Ryan Reynolds, and Hugh Jackman. That's exactly what created the entire split between all of these individuals and how they were going to promote this movie on The View. Now, regardless of Behar making these recent adjustments behind the scenes, through, of course, approval from CEO Bob Iger of Disney, Jackman still decided to refuse to go on The View to those interviews because he realized it was nothing more than a cash grab. It turns out that if Behar would have at least gotten Jackman on The View, Disney was willing to still pay her the $10 million payout, as previously discussed for the five interviews with Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman that previously fell apart, dressed up as their characters and playing in characters on The View. Now, on top of that, this sparked outrage from Behar toward Jackman and his team, such as his agent and manager, as she is now putting full blame on Jackman's decision for the View's ratings and their missed opportunity for June. There were many aggressive arguments that took place between Behar and Jackman over his recent decision that he is not willing to actually go on The View to jeopardize his career on a show like that in the first place. The recent changes that Behar presented to Jackman by dropping the conversation of diversity, equity, and inclusion came shortly after the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer dropped days ago after it went viral across the board. Even Bob Iger got in on the situation by begging Jackman to go on The View to do interviews and that consequences may come back at him based on what's in his contract. However, Jackman is said that he is willing to deal with the consequences by appearing by not appearing on The View to do a couple of interviews with Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg. Now, Joy Behar is already blaming Disney as well for Jackman 
and his decision to stay away from doing interviews with Behar, which of course could be connected to a scene that Ryan Reynolds and the creatives are developing that is set to mock the TV show host as Wolverine and Deadpool make jokes about The View while drinking a couple of beers. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago, by the way. This is the nature of the scene also that Behar had creative differences about with Disney. In addition to all of this, Jackman is also doubling down on the Joy Behar scene, where he demanded Disney that they they would follow Ryan Reynolds' request that the lines of dialogue presented in the scene from Deadpool and Wolverine mocking the view would be improvised to give it a natural comedic tone and feel for the audience. Disney reportedly caved and approved those demands based on the recent Joy Behar drama between Jackman, Reynolds, and others against the view. Now guys, let me just say one thing about this. Now, we all know that Ryan Reynolds is really trying his absolute best to vanquish any agenda-driven garbage from this movie, and so far he's been mostly successful with that. You know, anything related to DEI by Bob Iger and the Disney executives, thankfully at this point in time right now, are down to a minimum. So I think that that's going to make Deadpool and Wolverine a more valuable watch and could very well be a big blockbuster hit by word of mouth. Again, I think that we all have to go by the reviews and you'll hear it by a lot of us and what this movie is going to be like at heart and through the overall art by Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy. So again... I think that Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman made the right call, and it's funny because even after Behar was willing to not discuss the importance of DEI on live television with Hugh Jackman and dropping those talking pieces, of course, just goes to show you that Jackman doesn't care about that. He just doesn't want to go on The View regardless because obviously anyone who goes on there, you're going to look foolish, especially when you're promoting a film for the Marvel Cinematic Universe for Marvel fans. What Marvel fans are watching The View is, of course, pretty much non-existent, all right? So that's a big marketing mishap to begin with. I don't know what Disney was thinking. I don't know what Bob Iger was thinking, but... It's not all that surprising because that's who they are at the end of the day. They have no clue what they are actually doing to a degree. They're basically all involved in deliberate actions as well. Now, on top of that, all right, the recent phase of desperation from Joy Behar also is connected to how Disney is still refusing to pay her the promised $10 million that would have been paid if she did interviews with Ryan and Hugh together after she signed this contract with ABC. So this is also creating a legal struggle right now between Behar and the Disney heads. We talked about this like two weeks ago that she's made all these different legal warnings against the Disney heads after they no longer want to pay her the $10 million because of how Ryan and Hugh, thankfully, you know, shifted away and refused to go on that show. And that's why she's not getting paid, essentially. So overall... I would love to hear what you all have to say about this ongoing Deadpool 3 drama, especially with Joy Behar. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.